weather and climate. How can we define weather? Weather is defined as the condition of air, temperature, wind, air pressure, rainfall and humidity in the atmosphere at a given place and time. Weather keeps changing. We may experience different weather conditions in the morning, afternoon and evening. A sunny day may suddenly become cloudy and windy. Weather affects our daily activities. We choose our clothes and our food according to the weather. Weather conditions that prevail over a vast area and for a long period of time is called climate. Places are said to have dry, hot, wet or cold climate if they have same weather conditions for a very long period of time. That is approximately 30 to 40 years. Climate also affects our way of life. Our clothing, housing, transportation and the food that we eat are all influenced by the climate of the place we live in. Different places in the world have different types of climates. Countries like Canada, Norway, Sweden and Russia are very cold, while several parts of India, Myanmar, China, Bangladesh and Indonesia are hot and humid. The regions with similar climatic conditions have similar way of life too. The climate of a place is influenced by several factors. Latitude or distance from the equator, altitude or height above the sea level, distance from the sea, humidity, direction of winds. Factors that influence climate, latitude or distance from the equator, the earth's surface is heated by the rays of the sun. Places located on or near the equator receive direct rays of the sun, while places near the two poles receive the slanting rays of the sun. Slanting rays of the sun have to travel through a greater distance and hence lose most of their heat as compared to direct rays that travel a shorter distance and hence retain most of their heat. So, the closer a place is to the equator, the hotter is its climate. The closer a place is to the poles, the colder is its climate. Altitude or height above the sea level. The rays of the sun heat the surface of the earth. This heated surface then heats the atmosphere. Places at higher altitude receive lesser heat than those places that are at lower altitudes. Hence, the temperature at higher altitudes are lower than in the plains. The temperature decreases at the height of the land increases. This is the reason why hill stations are cooler than plains even in summer. Most peaks in the Himalayan mountains are covered with snow even during summers. If you have been on a holiday in the hills, you would have noticed it gets cooler as you go up. For example, Darjeeling, at a height of 6,982 feet above sea level, is cooler than Delhi, which is at sea level. Distance from the sea Places near the sea, for example, Mumbai and Kolkata, are neither very hot nor very cold throughout the year. They have a moderate climate, Whereas, those far away from the sea have extreme climate. That is, they are very hot in summer and very cold in winter. In summer, the land gets heated faster and warms the air above it. This warm air rises, making way for the cooler air from the sea to blow in. This cool breeze coming from the sea cools the land near the coast. In winter, the sea loses heat slowly and therefore it remains warm. This warm air rises and blows towards the land and makes it warm. Humidity When air has a large content of moisture or water vapor in it, it leads to humidity. 
humid air also affects the climate of the place. It is one of the main reasons of rainfall. The amount of rainfall and the season influences the climate of that place. Places with cold climate experience snowfall instead of rainfall. Direction of Winds Winds have a great effect on the climate of a place. Depending from where the winds originate, they may be cool, hot, dry or full of moisture. Winds blowing from desert areas are hot and dry, while those blowing from the sea are cool and moist. For example, Delhi is hot in summer due to the dry and hot winds blowing from Rajasthan, while in winter, cold winds from the Himalayas cause a cold wave in northern India. Winds play a major role in formation of clouds that cause rain. Winds that blow over oceans and seas carry moisture. These moist winds rise up and cool to form water droplets that fall down as rain. When winds reach a mountain, they are forced to rise. As they rise, they cool and form water droplets that cause rain. Hence, it rains more in mountain areas. Areas near the sea coast also get more rain. Climatic or heat zones The earth is divided into three climatic or heat zones. This division is based on the intensity of sunlight received by a particular place and also the rainfall. The shape of the earth is also important. Since it is curved, the rays of the sun have to travel a greater distance and in slanting manner to reach the higher altitudes. The three climatic or heat zones are number 1. The torrid zone that is the tropical region. Number 2. The temperate zone that is the temperate region. Number 3. The frigid zone that is the polar region. Climatic or heat zones Torrid zone Location It lies on both sides of the equator. It lies between the Tropic of Cancer in the north and the Tropic of Capricorn in the south. Climate The climate is hot and humid throughout the year. This is because the rays of the sun fall directly on this area. The sun shines brightly and the temperature is very high all the year round. It rains very heavily every afternoon. The area is covered with thick and dense forests. These forests are known as rainforests. Temperate Zone Location This area lies between the torrid and frigid zones in both hemispheres. That is, between the Tropic of Cancer an Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and Tropic of Capricorn and Arctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. Climate This area is neither very hot nor very cold. This is because of its distance from the equator. The sun never shines overhead. Hence, the summers are not very hot nor are the winters very cold. Most of the grasslands are found here. Frigid Zone Location This area lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere and the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere. Climate This area has an extremely cold climate. This is because the sun's rays are slanting and give very little heat. Summers are very short and cool and winters are long and severe. The seas and lands in the Arctic and Antarctic circles are frozen throughout the year. This land is famous for its midnight sun. The sun does not set for days at a stretch for six months. For another six months, the sun does not rise for days at a stretch. Very little vegetation is found here.